Oh, big appeal. Yes, got him. RWW. Ricky Ponting. RWW. Habashan Singh. He's making a big comeback here. Ricky Ponting was playing all around that one. The bat didn't come through straight. in the raw if they get Shane Warren out and what's more it'll be a hat-trick can Habajan Zing who now has four for 58 no Indian bowler has ever taken a test hat-trick here we go can he do it oh he's got him has he got him has he got him he's going over to the square leg the celebration's on is he the first ever? He wants a replay. He wants a replay. Well, is this history being made here? Was it a full toss? Well, he can't see where the ball bounced first. Very good catch. Now, did it go into the ground or was it a full toss onto the bat into the hand? Well, we need another. We need another angle. The catch is clean, no doubt about that. We need another angle. We don't. We don't need the light. Yeah, he's, he's given him. He's given him. He's given him. I think the third umpire jumped the gun. Let's have a look. This will show us. And did he jam it into the ground, or did it come flush off the bat? Well, the first Indian ever to take a hat trick in Test match cricket. Habajan Singh, take a bow. Edge and accepted. It's Rahul Javid who picks up a neat catch. And India are off the mark. All the three deliveries, extremely good from Patan. Just marginally shot on the couple of occasions, not making the batsman play. But this was a minor adjustment in length with great deviations. These are good conditions to move around the off stump, forcing the batsman to play ahead it. And a good low catch by Rahul Jhar with the slipper, the captain. The early breakthrough is what India wanted. That's why they put the opposition in. And Irfan Patan is struck with the new ball. Salman but gone for duck. Pakistan none for one. India off to a perfect start. We've got rid of... Uh, the opener, Salman Bhatt, Yunus Khan finds himself in early at number three. Solid player. And that is what Pakistan will be expecting for him, from him. Solidity now. Rafan Patan bowled the right channel, got the ball to swing and seam off the pitch. A good catch by the Indian skipper. He'll be tested, Yunus Khan. A bit of cloud cover has enveloped the National Stadium Karachi. Oh, close enough to call, I think it is close enough to call and he's gone. What a good delivery. Perfect line, swing, direction and the result was a perfect uh, one for the left armour. The Indians would have realised from the last game that Yunus Khan was a good candidate for leg before. He was out leg before to RP Singh in the 190s. And here, first delivery. What a great one. Good delivery, pitching in line, just a bit of swing. And wickets with consecutive deliveries. India are doing the damage early in this test match, the final one here in Karachi. Yunus Khan gone for duck. It's none for two. He's a terrific player. 65 matches, a real classic. Average of over 50. He's in good form and rhythm. Irfan Patan has bowled a couple of uh, great deliveries, really. So early in his spell, he got them absolutely spot on, and that is what counts in the end. And look at that field. The 
got rid of Yunus Khan with a lovely in-dipper. What will this ball be? Only second man to take a hat-trick in the first over of a test match. It couldn't have begun better for India. Sensational. Unbelievable stuff from Irfan Patan. His captain will be happy, his coach will be happy. This entire team standing up at the balcony. What a great effort. Hat-tricks don't come easy. And three top-class players. Mohamed Yusuf and Great Nick as well. Look at this. A great delivery going through the gate. Peach. A magical start for India. And Irfan Patan has picked up three wickets in his first over. And the second Indian to pick up a hat-trick. And this is a magnificent one. He'll remember for a long, long time. Yusuf gone for none. It's none for three, Pakistan. Indian medium pace bowler Chetan Sharma achieved an incredible hat-trick against New Zealand, the first in a World Cup match. The tournament already attracting huge crowds was surpassing the throbbing excitement of all the previous World Cups. This was mass entertainment.